start out second uh, string third fret D note then after that play the open E string and then the last note is uh, A which is two on the G string so practice this for a while you can use either your thumb only like this or the index finger or the mi middle finger or you can use uh, the index and the middle and the ring finger which is also a cool exercise then when you go to the F chord you just start strumming either you pretend you have a pick because I know uh, from working with a lot of uh, beginners and teaching a lot of people starting out uh, on a guitar uh, they find it strange to immediately start holding a pick and having something uh, plastic in their hand so I usually you know just advise them to you know pretend like they have a pick just don't join these two fingers together and when you start strumming just to get a feel for the strings and what's going on with the with the right hand so again you can also do it like this pick all down strokes and then this is your pattern so you're thinking ta te ta te ta te but only some uh, some accents or my god some beats are strummed you know some beats So it is a little uh, awkward at the beginning because you're going from uh, individual notes to a full chord. When you go to the F chord, you play down, you smack on the strings like this, which a lot of people, again, when they're starting out, find it very difficult to master. But it's the same movement as just strumming the strings down, but you, you put this part of your palm you just put it on the strings and you pass through the strings with the with the strumming finger which one whichever one is it is you just mute it like this and you get a percussive sound like it's a snare so so next you play after you mute the strings you go up down so up down up then another smack on the strings two upstrokes and then you end with, um, with another mute here and then you go back to the initial <coughs> <coughs> to the initial uh, arpeggio so again whether you combine this with this or you play everything with a single finger whatever comes natural to you as long as you get uh, the rhythm right and uh, you know you can play it continuously so again oops so a minor replaces the f it's very similar when you look at it it's only one note difference i guess The E becomes the F, so. And then again, you add the pinky after playing this three times. So on the fourth time, the pinky, the fourth strum, and then on the fifth strum, you just release it. So again, That's it. Hope you got something. Subscribe, support, and uh, donate. Bye.